Hello, everybody. Olav here. And, um, again, more BS coming from YouTube and a media management company. Um, a couple days ago, I recorded and posted a video for One Finger Death Punch. Now, before it even was published, it was flagged for copyright content ID. Now, this comes from a media management company called Dream Crusher Media. Before I did anything, I contact, I sent an email to them as well as the music creator. I never heard anything from either of them. So, I, instead of publishing it, I marked it as private so that it's not viewable and put in a dispute. Didn't hear anything from them. Um, I didn't hear really anything from them basically until I posted on Twitter the the copyright ID match as well as the actual dispute that I filed, which you can see right here. Now, the only actual response that I got from anybody was a reassertion of the claim, stating that, no, 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 you are trying to distribute our music. It's not even their music. They do media management, and on their website, they actually state that they do content ID claims to monetize your work. They are proud of the fact that they will sit there and they will flag anything and everything that could possibly be matched, which is a load of BS. If you follow our Twitter, you'll notice that in addition to posting those, I also posted a link with their tagging their company as far as why Let's Plays are considered fair use, point by point. Now, in the dispute itself, I actually listed the three out of the four points that need to be covered as far as fair use. Now, I contacted the game producer itself, the game creator, and asked them what the, you know, if they had licensed the music and everything, and they had the lic legal license for the music, and they saw no reason why there should be any kind of a problem, and that it was probably just a invalid content ID match for that song. Now, what's irritating about this is they had to have seen the issue. They had to actually physically go in and respond to my dispute and say that that dispute was invalid and reassert their claim. Now, I've sent them a second email saying, I really want to talk to you guys about this. And I will give them 48 hours before I reassert my dispute. At which point, things become a little bit hectic. Because either A, they can let it expire and they can say, okay, we're, we're not doing anything. Yes, you're right, it's fair use. Or they have to go to the extent of saying that this is a copyright strike, in which case, that opens up legal issues for both me and them. So I'm posting this video to help get the information out there, help kind of get an idea of what's going on. So in case all of a sudden things go really bad for the channel, you know what's going on. This is straight up BS. And... I have a feeling that the people at Dream Crusher Media, ironic name since they're trying to crush other people's dreams, know that this is BS, and they're hoping that they can scare me by saying, hey, we're gonna dis we're we're going to refute your dispute, we're not going to agree to that, and we are going to reassert our copyright claim. Now, like I said, this is an issue that has been going on. If you look at some of our re more recent posts, you'll see that, yes, this is an issue that has been going on for a while, and it's not going away. It sucks that this has to come to this, but I feel that it would be inappropriate to back down and say, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to be scared into being an obedient little ant and let you take whatever money this video brings in. 
in all honesty, it's probably going to be maybe five, six cents. But it's the principle of the thing and the accepting that they're right when they're not. So that's what's going on with the channel. Um, that's the reason why I haven't posted much in the past couple of days because I've been fighting with this. Um, I don't know what games we're going to be doing. I don't know what content's going to be coming up in the next few days while, while we are dealing with all of this. I'm going to try and keep focusing and keep my spirits up and keep going with this, but it is such... It, it, it takes so much to deal with this stuff, and it's just... It's heart-wrenching to sit here and say, well, there's this company that is supposed to be trying to help creators with their rights is stepping all over ours. So, hopefully you understand what's going on and understand why things may not be coming up as much anytime soon. I don't know if we're going to wind up with a copyright strike and have to fight that and wind up getting into a legal battle with this company or not. I hope not. I hope they do the right thing and acknowledge that if it goes to court, they're going to lose by the mere principle of fair use. But that's all I have to say for today. Again, hopefully this will be taken care of and they'll do the right thing. I'm not counting on it, though. But I wanted to let everybody know what's going on and get this information out there and say, hey, this is what's going on. And yes, it's affecting a, an extremely small channel at this point. But they don't care. That's all I have for right now. I'm Olaf, and I want to know, where's the fair use?